sorry, we were looking for your statement. Okay. Okay, so you said you live in Brikamaba. Yes. And what is your occupation? Yeah, I'm a senior revenue collector. With which council? Janjamreira Council. You give a statement to the commission investigators, right? Yes. And you signed the statement after going over it? Yeah, I signed it. All right. Let me show you this. Okay. Um, Mr. Secretary. Mr. Secretary. Apologize. Please show the witness. Yeah. Can you please confirm provided and signed? Yeah. That's I, your signature? I, yeah, it's my signature. But I see an error here. You see see what? Uh, my, my completion of my school in Nasir Ahmadiyya Senior Secondary School. It was 2002, not 2006. Okay, so 2006 is an error? 2002. Can you six. make a correction on the document and sign against it, please? Yeah. And do you adopt that statement as part of your evidence before the commission? Yes. Okay. There's a document attached to it. Is that a photograph of your cash book? Yeah. Do you have the cash book? No, I don't come with it, you know, because yesterday I was lately informed to come here, but I, I don't know that I, I'm going to appear today, you know. Okay, are so you... I did not come with my documents. Are you able to provide the cash book? Yes, the cash book is there. Okay. So during the investigation, when they went there, I showed it to them. So we make this copy. Okay. Yeah. Um, Mr. Badge, can you hand over the statement? Chairperson, I applied to tender the witness statement of Idris Amane and the uh, Printed photograph of a portion of his cash book. So Mr. Manik, can you note down to bring the cash book? Yeah, I've I've noted down. Thank you. Yeah. The witness statement of Ibrahim Mane, dated Idris, Idris, Idris Amane, sorry. Yeah. Let me take it again. Okay. The witness statement of Idris Mane, dated the 21st of December 2023, is hereby together with a copy of the of his cash book attached to the statement is admitted in evidence and marked as LGC slash EM slash JAC slash 001. Has the commission please, I'm grateful. Now, Mr. M Mane, yes. is Janjambre Council the only council, that area council that you've worked for? Yeah, but before council, I was teaching before, I was a teacher. Okay, where were you teaching at? Yeah, I teach at a Bakote proper. But that was only one year. At where, sir? Bakote proper. Bakote. Yeah. So later on, I joined in council. So when you were teaching at Bakote, where did you live? What? When you were teaching at Bakote, where did you live? I live in Talinding at that time. Okay. So did you move to Bikamaba? Yes. When? 
year, I think 2008, because that was the year I was employed. So did you move because of the employment? No. Now, you said in your statement that you had a six-month training on property valuation at the Ministry of Local Government and Lands in 2019. Yes. Who conducted that training? It was one, uh, it's a foreigner, you know, the ministry, you know, provided that training for all the councils. It's a Sri Lanka, it's okay. a property valuation, you know, specialist. And was it a daily training? Yeah, two, two days in a week. And was it only you from Janjambir Area Council that attended or did other staff attend? Yeah, all the provincial councils, we have only one representative, you know, including Banyun and uh, KMC, they, they have two representatives. So after your training, did you in turn train the staff at the council? No. Why is that? No, no, we are not trained to go and train the staffs. So what exactly was your training? What did it entail? Council did, uh, the ministry did that, you know, to, to, to make sure that council, they have, you know, evaluation officer at their level in order to conduct, you know, their evaluation. But we're supposed to have another training again, but still now it does not materialize, you know, I don't know. So does that mean that you conduct all the valuation assessments for Janjambur Area Council? Uh, okay. Currently, you know, there is no valuation, you know, conducting in Janjamburia Council. We are using the old one still now. Okay, so after your training, yes, there's been no valuation exercise. No valuation exercise, you know. And you haven't trained anybody else in the, at the council on what you learned? No, no, no. Is it that it is too difficult to teach somebody else? Not that. We are, we are not trained to go and train. We are trained, but they promise us that we are going to be trained again to further our this thing so that, you know, we can have more knowledge about it. So, yeah, so why, was, why I'm asking is because you're assuming that when they, train, when they have the next round of training that you're going to be at the council <coughs> to attend the training. Yeah. So what happens if you move from that council. Somebody new has to be trained on valuation. No, actually at our level, you know, we, they don't move us, you know. It's only the senior officers are move. Yes, but you could decide to get another job. Y yes. Okay, you could decide that you no longer want to work, you're going to retire early. That could happen. Yes, and when that happens, what happens to the council? The training that you received is not passed on, so nobody else has the benefit of it. Yeah. But I think so would it be fair then if when the next training comes up, somebody else goes from the council instead of you? Well, actually, maybe if they decided, you know, like that, fine. But I don't think so. It's only Janjambure area council. It's all over. Yes, but you're the one currently here, so yeah. you're the one I'm going to ask yeah, exactly. why you don't pass on. So after this training, do you prepare a report? A report? Yes, about the training, what you learned, what went on. Actually, we are certificated, you know, only what um, uh, I went back to our council, you know, tell them what we have trained and present my certificate to them. Yeah, so that's the only thing I did. Okay, so no report? No, I don't write, I don't write report. Did the council require you to write a report? No, they did not. And they also didn't ask you to provide any training for the other staff? No, they never request. 
at the time of the training, were you still a revenue collector or were you senior revenue collector? Yeah, I was a senior revenue collector at that time. This was in 2019. Okay, so 2019. Yeah. So you were senior revenue collector in 2015. Yeah. Do you have the letter? That I think uh, none of my local because I okay yes you see yeah. so can you note can you write it down to yeah. provide your employment okay. letter and okay. your promotion letter okay okay noted thank you so as revenue collector what were the revenue lines that you collected. At that time, I collect rates and tax. Okay. I collected trade line scenes. Okay. Yeah. That's it, and trade any, rates and taxes and trade license. And any other revenue that is collectible at our, in my area. Okay, so what did you use to collect these revenue? GTR books? GTR book, yeah. And how, who, who decided where you would go to collect? I think it's the finance director and the CEO. Who, they, were, who were they at that time? At the time of my appointment. At the time, yes, as revenue collector. That was, uh, I was appointed in 2008. Then pa, pa Dabo was there. As what? As the finance director. The CEO was uh, Yusuf Amane. They, they both retired now. Okay. Yes. But which CEOs have you worked under? I work under, I think, three of them. Uh, sure, think. Their names? Yeah. I think four. Uh, Yusuf Amane, mm -hmm. Baba Dinning Jobade, Baba K. Jobade. Okay. Yeah, I work on the Passet CC also. Okay. Yeah, I think these are the three. What was, when, when was Passet CC CEO? Passet came 2021. Would it be February 2021? 20, yeah. 2021, February, I can, I can recall. To what date? To, hmm? to what date? When did he leave? I think 2023, around July. Yeah. It's no, June. Something like that. I think they, they are transfer effect, June. Okay. So what about the finance directors? Other than Padabo, who else did you work on? Uh, I work on the Padabo and this thing. MLJ is now retired. Okay. I work on the Moro Keta. Moro Keta. Yeah. And the finance director that was at Brikama, but he was there for a short period of time, you know. Alaji, Alaji Jeng. Yes. So I work on the Alaji Mane also. And Lamin Jassi. And the current one, Mauro Balde, Mauro S. Balde. Okay, so you've had seven finance directors from 2008? From 2008, yes. Wow, okay. So when you were a revenue collector, yes. who did the assessments? Um, for trade license and rates and taxes? Yeah, for rates and taxes, mm -hmm. uh, we the collector, collector did the assessment with the ward councillor and um, uh, the chief badge messenger. It's also assigned to, to be part of the team. What about trade license? Trade licensing. Sure. Normally, uh, the finance committee of the council, Janjamuraya Council, mm. will form a team. And, uh, they are, and headed by the senior accounting officer at the office. 
and the revenue collector in the area, area they, they, they wanted to go and they will do the assessment. And when is the assessment done? Like um, what month in the year? Once in a year, yeah. Yes, when? Which month? For recent tax, normally we did it you know, before the end of the year, around October. We start you know, assessment of rates. Okay. So before December, we prepare you know, our form Bs. So early in January, we can start collection. You know, because at that time, most of the farmers will prepare at the recent tax and be ready to pay. And what about trade license? Trade licensing also we we did you know registration July and eh, December. In December we normally did registration, but sometimes we do late and early January we will do the registration. What are your your tariffs for rates and taxes? As for rates? Rates and tax definitely I think um, uh, we have uh, a uniform one, yes. it's a fixed one, yeah. So how much so for a, the different types a, of a, f f a flat rate, a flat compound, a land is hundred dollars. If you build a house, corrugated, is ten dollars. A grass hot is five dollars. So if a particular compound is having a, a two corrugated or one, you will pay hundred and ten or hundred and twenty. Yeah, per year. Okay. And do you know how many, okay, so before how many properties, how many wards are there in John Jambore? We have about 12 wards. And do you collect by wards or? Yeah, collectors are posted, you know, different wards, yeah. So, so is it one collector per ward? Sometimes, yeah. Some collectors, they collect two wards. They're responsible for two wards. Some will be allocated for one ward. It depends. So, do you rotate, or did did you rotate? Yeah, they will do transfers. Sometimes. So from one ward to another. Yes. Now how many wards did you um, work Me. once you were a revenue collector? Me. Yes, you. Yeah, I first started at um, uh, Sarasofi ward. Okay. From there, they moved me to Dangkungku. Okay. From Dangkungku, uh, Dangkung, uh, by the time I was in Dangkungku, I run Nagu Dangkungku and Nyamina West. From there, they moved me to Nyamina East. Dangkungku and Nyamina West? East? Nyamina, Nyamina West. Yes, and then when they moved you to Nyamina East, was it only Nyamina East? Nyamina East only, yeah. Okay. So from Yamina East, they brought me to Bansa. At Bansa Sub Treasury. From there, I moved to Bikamaba. From Bikamaba, they deployed me to office, the main office. <coughs> it was when you, when you were made senior revenue collector that you went to the head office? Yeah. So, when you were in these different wards, you collected trade license and rates and taxes. And rates and taxes, yeah. What was the involvement of the Alcalos when you collect rates? Do they collect it on your behalf or did you collect it yourself? Yeah, Alcalos collected on our behalf. Okay. Yeah. And how did you account for those? Yeah, they will collect it, you know, and we will go there. Because when we did assessment, mm -hmm. we will give them a copy. Each yard owner that you are supposed to pay, you will, that will be on that, you know, document. And the Alcalo will go and collect those monies. And we will come and receipt it, everything. Compound by compound, you know, we will receipt everything, you know, and collect the money. And the commission will be paid on the spot to the Alcalo. So depend on the amount that he have collected, you know. Mm. Is it ten percent? Ten percent, yeah. Now when you pay the commission, is there a form that you have specific to the Alcalo commission? 
Yeah, we have a commission sheet form okay. whereby you know, the, Alka, the name of the Alcalo will be there, the village, the ward that he live, and the district, and the amount that he have paid, and the 10% commission. So we will. So you complete indicate. that form and the Alcalo signs to show that he's received the money? Yeah, when you are going for reconciliation, you go with that you know, sheet. You know. So can we have a copy of the assessment list from 2018 to 2023? Uh, well, actually, I don't, I, I don't know whether we will be able to produce that. You know, because when we did this, we sent it to the office, the main office. So. The finance director will be responsible for those things. The form yes, B. But you're in the finance unit, right? Currently. But you know, most of the documents are missing now. How do they go missing? Aren't they filed? I, well, actually, because I came there in 2021. I don't know. Sorry, Chair, were you? I thought you were trying to get. No, I was not getting him. I wanted to tell him to speak up into the mic. Ah, OK. Sorry. So you're saying that you gave these documents to the finance director and... Yeah, when, when we completed the assessment. Yes. So yes. you're saying that he doesn't file them? Probably they will be filing them, you know. They're supposed to file them. Okay, so remember. you'll be able to access their files to find out whether these documents are that's, there. That's what I'm saying, because even the last auditing, it was a problem to, to find out some of these, you know, documents. Because Why? Eh? Why? I, I think there was no proper filing then. Who was the finance director between 2018 and 2023? Yeah, the, the names that I have given you, you know. Yes, these are from 2008. So I'm asking you about 2018 to 2023. 2018. I think 2018 it was Buba Mani. Buba was the acting finance director then. Yes. Okay, so Buba if Mani is not yes. on this list. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah I, I forgot about him. So Buba That's Mani, it. acting Buba. finance director. Yeah. 2018 to when? To his, I think Alaji took over from him. That's 20, end of 2020. This is Alaji Jeng or Alaji Mane? Alaji Mane. So he was from 2020 to when? Who, Alaji Mane? Yes. He was about 2020 to 2022, I think. Is it around July? Oh. He resigned. Okay, he resigned? Yes. All right. And then after Alaji Mane? Lamin Jassi took over. So that would be from mid 2022? Yes. To? 2023 July. Okay. So Alaji, sorry, Buba Mane, <coughs> Alaji Mane, and Lamin Jassi would have custody of those documents or should have had custody of those documents. But you said it's last quarter that you were trying to look for these and you couldn't find them? Of course, yeah. We so that would be 2023? That, that was, uh, the last auditing was conducted in 20, I think 2022. So it was in 2022 you couldn't find them? Yes. What about 2021, were they there? 2021, yes. Okay, so they got missing between 2021 and 2022? Yeah. I think those one we can produce that, but some, most of our our vouchers also are here. I think some of these things, commission seat form will be part of them because when we took it to the office, we prepare a payment voucher, you know, attach it to it. Yeah, so that's the commission. That's the commission slip. It won't have the list of the alcali. Yeah, I'm saying the commission slip will not have the list of the people 
in no, no only the alkali yeah, so it's that list of the people and the compound owners and how much they need to pay that's what that's um, that's what you are requesting for yes yes okay no problem from 2021 i think those ones are there from 2021 you have that yes okay so can you provide us with that okay no problem so what did you think you were at, we were talking about that you said you couldn't find the documents from 20 I, th I thought that you are asking for this for the form b's and this commission pay seats that we, no, we no. pay to the alcalis which one is the form b form b when the revenue collectors assessed at their various ward yes that would after, have the list after, of the compound owners yes after yes. after 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 collecting all those data they will put it in the uh, in the form a there's a, a a book that we call form a okay. you will enter all the names of the yard owners and the amount they are supposed to pay from there you prepare your form b that you will submit it to the office from that we will prepare an appendix you know Okay, yeah. So all those documents that you've just listed, Form A, Form B, and a document what? Log? Hmm? You said there's Form A, there's Form B. Form B, yeah, and, and the appendix. And the appendix, yes. okay. So can you provide us with those copies yeah. of those? Okay, Form A, mm -hmm. that will be, it will be with the revenue collectors. But those books are too much. Too much. Maybe we can bring samples, you know, if that is possible. So we want to see actuals because... No, we can, I can bring the actual books, you know, but, you know, to, to collect all those books, you know. That is a, yes, but you're trying to help the commission, it's, right? It's, it's so going to be a problem. Why is it a problem? Eh? Why is it going to be a problem? It will be too heavy, you know. It will be too heavy? To, to carry it, you know, yeah. Right, so can it's you a, make... It's, it's a lot of books. Can you make copies of those okay. books? Okay, okay. Right? No problem. Okay, so can you note it down? Because we will ask you about them again not yet <coughs> now you said you were moved to head office under the IFMES department IFMES system yes um, sorry IFMES unit if so there's actually a unit for IFMES yes we have a IFMES how many people are in that unit we are two in number there three so we are in two right now, but uh, we have another one there. Make three. But that one, he was employed in 2002. 2002? Yeah, appointed, yeah. He was appointed in 2002. 2002 or 2022? Two, uh, 2022. Okay. Sorry. So what do you do in that unit? Yeah, I am responsible for the inputting all the revenues that are collected in the Jamura Era Council into the system. Only revenue? Only revenue. We have an expenditure officer also there. You have a what? An ex expenditure officer. Who's that Who one? is responsible for expenditure? Lamin Balde. Is Lamin Balde <coughs> not an accounts clerk or something? Yes. Or account, account assistant. What's account, his title? Account, account assistant. Accounting assistant. Yes. Is there a senior account assistant? Sorry. I don't know what your, your different terms are, but there's an accounting assistant and what? Senior accounting assistant also is there. Senior accounting assistant. Yes. And that's it? Hmm? That's it for accounting? Yeah. The finance manager is on a study leave. That's the Buamane, the then acting finance director. How long has he been on study leave? I think this was 2021, I think, yeah. Since 2021? Yes. And who is the senior accounting assistant? Dauda, Dauda Sama. Dauda Sane? Sama, Sama. Sano? Yeah. Sama, Sama. Spell it, please. S-A-M-A. S-A-M-A, yeah. okay. 
So you only deal with revenue yes. input, and then the expenditure officer only deals with expenditure. Yes. Who's the third person? That one is um, uh, Ablai, Ablai Show. And what does he do? He was appointed, you know, as an accounting clerk. Okay. I asked you whether you had any other accounting stuff. Yeah. Is there any other accounting staff other than these three? No. So it's just yes. these three. Adlaisa was appointed as accounting clerk. Yeah. And is his grade above yours? No. Your grade is, what, what grade are you on? I'm at grade 5.9. And what is Abdullah's grade? Uh, actually, Abdullah, I cannot remember. Pardon? I cannot remember his grade. So how do you know that his grade is not above your grade? Hmm? How do you know that his grade is not above your grade? Uh, actually, I, 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 I think that's what I think. Like, you know, maybe his grade is not above my. So you don't know whether his grade is above yours or yours is above. Mm -hmm. Mr. Mane, no. please speak into the mic. We are not hearing you. Ah, uh, okay. Mind. Sorry, sorry, ma'am. Okay. So, when did this IFMES system roll out in Janjambere Area Council? In 2021. Because I, yeah, I think I came, they redeployed me in the office I think, around March. Because by, the, by then, yeah, we went for training. Okay. Yeah. Where were you trained? Accountant General's Department? Yes. How long did that take? My training took one, one week. And do you get an IFMIS allowance? Yes. You and the other people in that unit? Yes. Okay. Do you know who else at the council gets an IFMIS allowance? I think the, the CEO received it and the finance director. Were they trained? Yeah, we are all trained. Who else was trained? I think those are the people who are trained. Pardon? I think this, these are the people who are trained. So the three of you? That's the finance you. director and the CEO. So would that be all the CEOs that came from? No, 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 no. The current one, from 2021. So, but you had passed CC from 2021 to 2023. Yes, yes. So he was trained with you? Yes. Okay. No, he was not trained with me. By then he was, before our training, I think he was trained at uh, Mansa Congo before coming to Janjambure. Okay, so he still collects IFMES allowance from? Yes, yes. Janjambure? Yeah. Okay, so only you, the finance director. So 2021, <coughs> finance director, it would have been Alajimane. Alajimane. Alajimane also was trained, yeah. Okay. What about Lamin Jasse? Lamin Jasse, also Lamin, by the time he was coming, I think, yeah, yeah, he did one training also, you know, which was. Okay. So all of you use the IFMIS system. That is the only system that you use. Yeah, you don't use a manual cash book? No, we don't use manual cash book as of now. When you say as of now, since when? From 2021. All right. Um, so, when the revenue collectors come, it's you they come to? Yeah. You are the only person that deals with revenue? Yes. Okay. So, I think you've seen, we had Cora, Caro, Caro Javata before you? Yes. Okay. So, there, there's been an instance of a discrepancy of about 24,000, and I believe you mentioned that in your statement. Yeah, I mentioned it. And her evidence is essentially that 
sometimes you will call her yeah, sometimes. and ask her to bring monies to the council. Yeah. Okay. And you said that this is done at the instance of the director of finance. The director of finance will ask me to call her if, yeah, if he has any money. Because sometimes we will run out of gas power. Sometimes there will be payments at the office. So he will ask me to call uh, so that if he has any cash, book, uh, cash with him, yeah, so that we can facilitate that payment. Okay, so which yeah. director of finance would this be? Uh, currently, the one there is Maudo. Is Maudo? Maudo S. Balde. Maudo S. Mane? S. Balde. Balde. Yeah. But also, so he, when, that does he so, ask sorry, you? Sorry, sorry. I say, if the collectors came for submission also, normally what we did, the director of finance, I will allow him that you know the particular collector is around. If it is necessary, he will go to him and check his books before coming to me. Yeah. I don't understand. What, so why is the director of finance checking their books before they come to you? Yeah, that's what he instructed me. If anybody can collect, so let him come to me first. So is that this current director or all of them? Yeah, but all of them I did that, you know, because I don't check their books without, you know, consulting him because, yeah. Okay, so you're saying that the revenue collectors go through the director of finance first yes, exactly. to check their books. But yeah. who, who signs off on the books? Hmm? Who closes the books? I take all their books and comment, you know, and raise, uh, write a receipt and sign it. So you provide them with a GTR receipt? Yes. And where they have made payments from yeah. their collections, mm -hmm. what do you give them? When they have made payments? If they've made payments from their collections, yeah. what documents do you give them to show that payments were made and what those payments were? It depends the type of payments that we made, you know, they, inst they are instructed to do. If they can, if I told they ask them to pay for them, and they will come with a receipt. That receipt, Lavin is there to prepare vouchers. So he will prepare the vouchers, we will take it to the director and the CEO to sign it. So Lavin will put it in the system. Do you prepare payment vouchers? If, in the absence of Lavin Balde. Okay, so the revenue collectors will sign those payment vouchers and you attach the receipts. Whether they sign it? Yes. No, revenue collectors, they, they don't sign this. Those, that's because those payment, payments are not for them. Yes. For example, do if... You, does your payment voucher have at the bottom of it an, a portion for the re recipient? The recipient, I think, um, uh, will be the person that you have paid to. For example, if it is a receipt, a, a fuel receipt, so it would just be the receipt attached to the payment voucher? Yeah. So in those instances, don't you have um, a discrepancy in the dates? Because yeah. the receipt would be, would be dated earlier than the payment voucher. Yeah, I think actually we will, the payment voucher, the date on the receipt, we will put the, the same date on the, on the payment voucher. So, so you will backdate the payment voucher? Because it's the date that the collector has effected the payment. Yes, but I'm asking you to confirm you're backdating the payment voucher. Yes. But then what is the right process? The right process is, you know, you prepare payment vouchers before any payment. Now, what about payments for cash power? Cash power, yes. Who, who would make those payments? Would it be you at the office? Who will make or the would the revenue collector go and make those payments themselves? Yeah, if at all there is no money at the office, the revenue collector will bring money. We will go and we have a messenger there. That messenger will go and buy cash power and bring it, the receipt. Where do you buy cash power from? Nawek? Market, yeah. I, uh, yes. Is it Nawek? Nawek, yeah. In Janyambure, yeah. So you only buy from Nawek? Only Nawek, yeah. And then when they bring the receipt, you prepare the payment voucher, or do you prepare the payment voucher before? We prepare payment vouchers. 
When? Huh? When do you prefer? When, when prefer the receipt came. When the receipt comes. Yes. Because the the, the details on the receipt uh, that we will, we will put on the on the payment voucher. Okay. And then um, I think there's been a report in one of the audit reports that revenue collectors are asked to pay themselves from their collections. What can you yeah. tell us about that? Yeah, I think um, uh, that was some years back. But I think we have, we have migrated from that now. But that used to happen? It, yes, it was happening. Why is that? Well, I think at that time, you know, council sometimes it will be a, there will be a time, you know, it is very difficult at the time. Council, we don't have money, so they will ask collectors to collect and pay themselves and pay the, the 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 cleaners also within their areas of jurisdiction. Okay, and then. Um Caro, Jabata said that sometimes they'll, they'll take their transport allowance from the collections. Yes. I think they see they see, yeah, that was instructed by the, the finance directors. If they go for collection, you know, uh, the affairs should be paid to them by Caro. Did he we have ha a... We have a transport fare form. Where is there is a form okay. that we give to, the, to her. Whoever went for collection, the amount that you collected, you know, and the fare that they have paid. You have a collection listing form and the transport fare form. I said two form. That's okay. we give, we give you know, yeah. So the transport fare, they will sign against their name the amount, you know. So he will come with but it. The, the, the collect so are those. All the revenue collectors, or are those like f in Carol's case, would those be the only, LUMO collectors? Only LUMO collectors. So that's only for LUMO collectors? Yes. But when they're going to the LUMOs, do they not leave directly from their homes? Because they don't come to the office first. No, they don't come to the, through the office. And in their salaries, do they not get transport allowance as well? Of course. They get so transport what is allowance. the purpose of the added transport fare? Because they're not coming to the office and then leaving from the office to go somewhere else. Well, I think that decision is from the CEO and the finance director as far as they are the, the spending Which, which of the CEOs and which of the finance directors? I think it's happened all during the all, all the time of these CEOs. All of the CEOs? Yes. So how much is transport fare? It depends because some of the revenue collect the, the collectors are very far from the LUMO areas. Okay. Some they pay hundred dollars a fare, some they pay fifty, you know. It depends the distance that you know you travel. But they go to these <coughs> excuse me, they go to these LUMOs every week. Every week, yeah. So everybody is getting paid Yes. Every week, hundred dollars yes. or fifty dollars. Yes, out of their collection, yes. And how do you account for this? Is it the form that you attach? The to form, yeah, they will come with the form. We raise a payment voucher and attach it to it. How many revenue collectors do you have? Do you know? At Janjambure? I think Janjambure, currently we have about eight of them. You have eight revenue collectors? Yeah. Does that include? Ex excluding this market, yeah, this LUMO collectors. And market market also. Excluding market, market as well? Market and LUMO. So how many LUMO do you have? We have four LUMO areas. Does that include the LUMO mistress? Hmm? Does that include the LUMO mistress? Yes. OK. And how many market collectors? Market, I think there are six. Because Bansan is three, I think three of them are there. In Brikamaba we have two, and Kudang we have one. Eh, sorry, uh, Janjambure. Kudang we have a collector, but he is late last month. Oh. Yeah. So you say it was Bansan, Kudang, and? Brikamaba. Brikamaba. Yes. Brikamaba you have two. We have two. Okay. I'm just being told that it's time to break.
Yes, this time we are just informed by GRTS that um, they are taking off their signal. Um, we will break for, for, okay. for lunch and we will be back. You may rise. <laughs>